Hello everybody, how's it going? My name's James and right now I'm inside the grounds of one of the most incredible religious complexes on earth. I'm in Angkor Wat and in this video today I'm going to take you through Angkor Wat. We're going to have a look at what you can expect to see when you visit this amazing place in northern Cambodia. Let's not waste any time, let's get to it. This was, by the 13th century, one of the largest agrarian urbanist areas in the world. In this region alone, by the 15th century, there were between 700 to 900,000 people inhabited within Greater Angkor. It had a central business district. I mean, to put that into perspective, you know, at that time, you had around 150,000 people living in Baghdad or 160,000 people living in Paris. In London at that time you had 30,000 people. So I mean it really was so so ahead of its time. So I am right now looking out towards west which is where you enter Angkor Wat you essentially see five well you can see three towers there are actually five and then as you get closer with every step your perspective changes or the view changes. Something that I see or that I've noticed and picked up on is there are works of restoration and, and preservation taking place all the way around the site, which you'd expect today, right? Wherever you walk here through Angkor Wat, whether you're outside in the courtyards or walking through some of the corridors, it's basically like walking through a gallery. I mean, you're not actually in a gallery, but you're surrounded by art. And on the walls here, you can see these leaves, which are essentially depictions that tell stories right back from the beginning from the Mahabharata. But when you walk around you know the outside almost courtyard like places in Angkor Wat or when you walk through the middle through the, the large corridors you see these leaves which are you know carved out but when you're also walking around something that you see are these uh, female figures that have been carved out of the stone after the block has been has been placed there so again leaving absolutely no margin for error from the carver they are princess type figures and then in the more remote areas of Angkor Wat you do see these women carved out but they are farm girls or kind of peasant level of society so it tells us a lot not just about spiritual and religious beliefs at that time but also about how society functioned I mean, it's just amazing what you can extract from everything that you see when you've got an expert telling you it of course and there are so many carvings the attention to detail is just absolutely incredible whether you're looking at these women that would have been placed to worship Vishnu who was the the god of preference for Surya Varman the Hindu god right the way down to the flowers here that you can see all around. I mean, something else which is just incredible about Angkor Wat is the speed at which it was built. If we draw a parallel between this and cathedrals in Europe that were being built at the same time, for example, I mean, most cathedrals in Europe being built in the 12th century were taking, you know, anywhere between 200 to 300 years as a minimum. Angkor Wat was built in 32 years, so when Sri Avaman II came to the throne, he started the, the commission for the build, and it stopped 32 years later. So the speed at which it was built was just incredible, and a large part of that, I've come to learn, is due to the moat which actually surrounds Angkor Wat. So the water or the, the moat basically enabled the Angkorians to transport a huge amount of stone. You know, it's really difficult to just walk around with a GoPro and actually demonstrate kind of how huge Angkor Wat actually is and actually really, you know, show its scale. Well, so there we have it. I'm now heading back towards the west gate to cross over this 200 metre wide moat. Um, wow, we're just, what an incredible structure. Angkor Wat is one of over 200 religious temples and structures here in Siem Reap, so one of many that you'll visit when you come here. Hopefully you found this video useful, you've learned something new, and it's made you want to come to this incredible country, Cambodia. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully I'll be able to share my travels with you again soon.